video, I talked about setting up your screen, what all these windows are, um, how to grab your tools if you don't see them, and our navigator here, which will help us zoom in and out. If you need all of that, go to the last video. So for now, we're just going to talk about the actual first project monogram pattern and how to get started. Now, everybody's process is going to look very different based on their monogram, um, their style, and what tools they are kind of drawn to and make sense to them based on our first tutorial and our first few classes. But I will show you a example of my process and how I would do this project. And you can take pieces of that or you can follow step by step if you'd like. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is create my monogram. And I think I'm going to start with the brush, but I might change my mind. I'm going to experiment a little bit. I'll be honest with you. I'm better with um, drawing this specific thing that I'm going to do. I'm, I'm better with it with a pen. So I'm going to try it with the brush, but I might want to go back and trace over it with a pen to make it look a little more formal. So that's the process that I'm planning on using, but things always change. So I'm going to grab my brush and I'm going to do my G and L. And like I said, this is something that I draw a lot. Um, this is something that I've created for art in college. So I, I sign all of my art like this. Now, if I don't like the exact curves of the G, um, I honestly don't like the curve of the L either. This, this is not a perfect one. I can always go back and fix each specific anchor point. So I can grab this one. I can pull this down a little bit. Usually I have a little more of a space here in this curve when I like to write it out. Um, but I have a very specific idea of what I want. If you're more flexible and you end up putting it on the computer and you just like how it turns out, that's great. Um, if I'm deciding that Honestly, this is not the way that I usually write it, and I kind of want to start over. I can, of course, delete the whole thing, grab my brush, and start over. So I'm going to do it a little more carefully this time into the L. Okay, that's a little better. So that's how I usually do it. Now, I need a lot of color here. I need a lot more going on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my stroke a little bit thicker. And I'm actually thinking I'm going to change the color of both of my letters. So I have to find the break between both letters and I'm going to use that eraser tool. And I think I'm gonna split right here. Let's see how that looks. Now I can change both colors separately. Maybe I'll do a blue. I'm gonna do close colors, but you can still see that they are separate. Oh, sorry, that's my fill. No fill. Stroke. Okay, so maybe I'll do a blue, purple. You can see that they go together, but they're not the same color. Now I'm going to take the entire thing and add a pattern. Object, pattern, make. Okay, now this is where we're getting into the project. You can change all of these pattern settings. I would like you to play around and, and see what works for you and what goes together. Now, the first thing I'm noticing is I want to connect all of them in a way that makes it a seamless pattern. So I think I'm going to take this point here. Now I have to find it, the end of the L and extend it in a way that connects to the next L in the pattern. So this is where the pattern preview is going to be very helpful so that you can continue editing while you are um, seeing, seeing the changes. So if I actually take the whole L and pull it out, you'll see that it starts to connect to the other one. It's a little bit stretched, but I can move it over. Now I have it connected to this L here, and it should be connected on all of them. And I have no stroke line, so they all connect seamlessly with that color purple. Now if I want to connect this over here, I would grab those anchor points, 
And maybe I'll connect it to the G. I would have to really work with it and see what I want to do. So all of those are now connected to the G. I want it to be intertwined in a way that the pattern is seamless. Maybe I want to really extend everything, connect this part of the G up. Of course, I would need to zoom in and get all of my anchor points so that it looks a little rounder. Then connect this part of the G up and this part of the G all the way down. Maybe I'll do it like that so that everything is intertwined. I would definitely spend a lot more time tweaking that, zooming in and playing around with that. But for now, I'm going to leave it like that because I want to show you one more really important thing, which is to create a background color. Now, create a background color, I do need to just make plain old square. So I'm going to make that square. I'm going to kind of cover everything that you see in the preview. I'm going to fill it with a much lighter, see I need a lighter color. It still goes with my color scheme. Let's do a light blue like that. And then I need to take that square and put it in the back. So arrange, send to back. Okay, move my square a little bit. Fix it up a tiny bit so I can see everything. I don't want to cover anything. And here we have a pretty good background color. I'm going to click done so you can see the pattern. Oops, sorry. There's a whole other step to this. I forgot. I'm going to move this over. I'm going to click done. The pattern's not gone. It is in your swatches. So I'm going to make another shape. I'm going to go to pattern or swatches and I click on the swatch here. The last swatch always pops up right here. And that is my pattern. Really cool thing about this is that it extends forever. Even though you cannot see it right now, if I make my square, my shape bigger or smaller, my pattern extends forever. It can be included in any shape that I create and it forms to any object or shape that I put the pattern on. So this is the basics of the project. Um, I hope you guys have a really fun time with your pattern. Really make it perfect. Spend your time wisely in tweaking it. And then I will show you how to do this in class. Hopefully those little steps helped you if you need to go back into this video and watch this as many times as you need to. Okay, have lots of fun, guys.